Okay, so in the last video, we were talking about the random sets. And from here, I've already included the, all the files on the tutorial folder. So I've organized all the files. And as you can see here, I also have the entire random sets organized here. So I will actually run this uh, application now with the full uh, random sets composer. So we can actually preview the entire avatar generated. As you can see, the skin color variation is already working, but we have this interesting and uh, important issue here on the positioning of the feet. So that's something I would like to mention and to talk about. So we have here the animator and I will open this one. So let me open here the animator tab uh, animation animator okay so here let me drag this uh, down here so i can actually show so we are here on the idle and we have the foot ak so you can see first of all that uh, if we turn off the uh, foot ak we have some sliding this is especially visible on the idle animation and uh, if i remember correctly there is no uh, possibility to use the inverse kinematics on unity indie you can see that the movement is a bit uh, strange uh, if the foot ak is uh, turned off i will start again and actually adjust the time so we can see this in uh, slow motion so i select one of those and try to match the, the scene here with the foot ak turn it off so I, i'm showing this because you should be aware of the differences that we can expect because of the the variation of using or not inverse kinematics. So that's an usual result. And it's quite amazing and quite good considering that uh, we are actually retargeting an animation from an humanoid after that is has actually not this kind of lag structure from the werewolf or this kind of Creature. So with the IK turned on, we have some quite interesting results as well. So keep an eye on this and understand that this will have an influence, uh, a very big influence on the, your final results. And uh, here on the pretty models on the unified file. We are actually going to take a look here. Uh, let me ge generate just one after so we can actually uh, test this and have more control of the results. So we have those uh, leg position and the way the feet is positioned. So with the unified after selected, I'm going to actually get back and configure the avatar mechanism after uh, speci especially the typos so i will try to adjust this so i can uh, reach a better result here so i will accelerate this part of the video uh, because this is basically just a lot of manual adjusting and well there's still a lot of uh, trial and error on this process because I actually don't have much reference of how the typos should work on this specifically setup for this, this kind of legs. So I'm trying to actually 
have more straight angles and uh, uh, actually a straight line on the, the bone flow for the legs. And this uh, looks to end up providing better results on the retargeting, both when using inverse kinematics and when not using. I usually also like to provide some extra rotation on the shoulder area. This is really important to have a natural pose for the after. So here I'm adjusting both shoulders and the arms so I can provide a better T-pose. After it's done, I will apply. And this is super important. After applying, we need to select it and extract the typos again. Other side, the changes will not be included on the, on the final results. If I generated the typos, I need to set the typos again here on the race. Other side, it will generate errors. So let me play again and see the results. Okay, so we have an interesting pose here. We could actually adjust a bit more of the uh, spine and uh, have more interesting curvature over the body itself. But here you can see that uh, if I move the after, we have uh, quite good movement on the legs while it's running. And uh, this is pretty interesting, I mean, uh, considering this is a retargeting movement. So uh, we can also consider a better quality if we would actually have a specific animation for this char character. Now I would like to discuss about the intersection of the feet with the ground. So this is mainly caused because we usually handle the positioning of the after in two steps. We have the setup on the mechanism after itself, but we don't have full control over there, uh, especially if we are using the inverse, inverse kinematics, the feet. So we need to adjust part of this on the DNA so I can actually adjust the feet. What you can see here is that most of the values will work quite well already with the default uh, settings, but uh, this is not going to be the case with the feet. So you can see that it's going to uh, go through the, the floor and uh, scale not ideally the way I would expect. So what we should be looking for now is a way to correct this directly on the DNA itself from the werewolf. So I'm going to open here the DNA and I'm going to look for the feet size. This is the right variable. So we are actually accessing it here and more uh, those areas here. Uh, in fact, don't mind the commented code. It uh, should actually be removed in some moment in the future, but uh, it's obviously not being used. But uh, this is the right place to look after. So we're here on the set position of the position bone. So this bone is actually responsible for offsetting the hips of the of the avatar based on the the, the uh, lower area of the of the avatar. So the, the position bone is actually adjusted and positioned on the lower area of the avatar, basically in the middle point between uh, bo the both feet. So Adjusting the values here, we actually end up with a better positioning of the feet and of course of the of the avatar itself. 
So if I expand here and adjust the fit, you will notice the overall result is now um, closer to what I would expect. But this is actually a matter of finding the right values here to have the perfect match. On this video, I won't cover all the trials I've done, but uh, on the, the unit package that I'm providing on the GitHub, I will actually provide a better solution I've reached here on the, the, the specific DNA value and how it uh, converts into the shape itself. So basically those uh, last steps is actually a sequence of trials until I reach the, a good variation and a good result for the feet uh, scale. Here you can see that the actual body is quite offset from the ground and uh, it's slightly better but not perfect yet but the final result is quite good. Okay, so I won't extend anymore on this video. I hope this covers some of the adjusts specifically for the uh, Mechanim avatar and uh, hopefully I will be able to record a new video explaining the art process, the art side of the generated uh, new race uh, but for now, I hope this will help you guys creating your own races and uh, generating new content. So that's it. Goodbye. See ya.